Well, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to video update number three from Wembleston Park. As you can see, I'm a little bit more organised now. I'm just going to stop this train. There we go. Right. First thing with this update. To finish the audio project. Okay, if I just press that one to shut the music up, shut the bus, shut up the street, shut up that street, shut up the pressure washer. That didn't work very well. And if you can hear the guy playing the guitar down here. this one back on you now I've got the speakers in over here for the North Circular it's a shame this camera records in mono it's a stereo effect quite good still got some work to do under there Well today I was hoping to make a start on the control system for the washing plant but unfortunately the parts haven't turned up in the post I've uh, been onto the cellar and there was some mix up with the addresses so uh, hopefully I should get that tomorrow uh, but this is what I'll be working on next is automating the, the washing plant uh, the idea is that if I just set this train away there's my 83 what I want to do is I want this train to come round here and stop there and I need it to wait there for a period of time and then I need the washing uh, rollers to start up then I need the signal to change then I need the train to pull away and the idea is as well is I'm going to be using some of these sound uh, mp3 boards uh, to produce the sound as well. Uh, at the moment, as you can see, I've got the train to stop by itself. If I press this button here, the washer will start up, and the signal will change, and the train will pull away by itself. So I've got so far with it. It's 
still a long way to go. But we've got the the basic idea is sort of works in principle. As Wembleston is a conventional DC analog layout, the easiest way to control the speed of the trains is by creating small block sections and feeding the power into the track via a, a set of diodes or wired in series. As you can see, there's two diodes here and there's four diodes that go this way. Uh, this is the track feed coming in, so effectively this will drop uh, a couple of volts off the track and this will drop a few more volts off the voltage to the track. Uh, then as you get a bit further along there'll be a there's an isolating rail over here and then there's some more diodes down here which link into the other side. As the train emerges from under the station it comes into this first little block section here which is where the two diodes are and then it will then go into the next little block section there where the four diodes are and then effectively it stops in this section here uh, the power to this section is actually switched on and off via a relay uh, the idea is that when the control system is built it will basically switch the power back on and then the train will pull away uh, the power to this section is fed from four diodes the section there just under the bridge is fed from two diodes and then the other section down there is back on the normal voltage so it has the effect of the train then speeding up which I will now yeah, the train's just about to enter the uh, block section for the front of the layout there we go, track circuit indicators have changed now lift the camera over you'll see it come out from under the station as it contacts the first section it slows and then it slows to a stop And then basically all I do is when I press that and that starts going, that signal will change. And it then starts to speed up. And it's all done with diodes. Well that concludes this little update, hopefully all of the parts will turn up tomorrow and then I can crack on with the, the next part of the build, but in the meantime please like, share and subscribe this channel and stay tuned for further updates, uh, thank you for watching.